really romanticize what being a founder is like. Um, it is not for the faint of heart. It really is all consuming. Um, but of course it comes with its rewards. You get to choose really meaningful work if that's what you feel called to do. I feel like I have been underestimated way too many times. The journey, it's not like one day you make a decision and then you go all in. It's really just, um, you know, taking, making a decision and then taking the first step. It's hard to feel 100% ready to take that dive. Never a good time. And so uh, I feel like it, it is just going for it and trusting in yourself that no matter what obstacles you face, you're going to figure it out. It's definitely a lot more sensitive about failure in the earlier days because, uh, you know, prior to starting a company, uh, I feel like I was in an environment where I was not seeing failure as much and starting a company, I feel like I'm feeling failure every day in some way. I There's going to be a lot of failures along the way and it's not about the failure, it's about how you recover from it. Because no matter what happens, you are going to learn so much. But whenever I get stuck or run up against obstacles, I try to come back to my why and why I care about this mission. I've lived most of my life kind of thinking about, am I spending my time in the best way that I could be spending my time? Are my efforts kind of translating into something that I want to see in the world? I think when the answer is yes, I keep going. And when the answer is no, I reevaluate. I'm Carrie. I'm the CEO, founder of Searchlight. Asha Baker, the CEO and founder of Snap EDA. My name is Cheryl Song. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Reina. Sarah Ahmad. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Stable. Hey, I'm Helen, and I'm the founder of Otter. Hi, my name is Darina Kulia. I'm one of the founders at OpenPhone. 